So, this is going to be explanation for my workout, Booty Booty Me. And I'm also going to give you variations for beginners. So the first exercise uh, in this workout was side step, and I was using my 10 pound dumbbells, 10 in each hand. So you're gonna get into this uh, uh, low squat position, well not all the way down, but as low as you can go. Your feet gonna be a little bit, a little bit apart. Your back is gonna be straight. You're gonna stay low the whole time throughout this exercise. You're gonna have, you're gonna feel the burn in the back of your leg, your butt, and a little bit in the front of your leg as well. So adjust yourself so that way you feel the burn in the correct spot. So you're gonna get into this position, you're gonna step one leg to the side, keeping your body, your back straight and your, this leg bended. Step the leg back, step the other leg to the side and you're gonna be switching back and forth between the two legs, staying low the whole time. To get full effect of this exercise, you have to get as low as you can. If you're a beginner, you can do the same thing, but without the weight. You're gonna get into this position, and you're going to be doing this step without the weights. Try to get as low and stay as low throughout the full interval. Now, the second exercise in this sequence is um, plank kickback jumps. You're going to get into a plank position on your elbows. You're going to keep your abs tight. You're going to pick one of your legs up. You're going to squeeze your butt in the back of your legs and you're going to kick, jump and switch legs. Using your abs to hold your body, squeezing the back of your leg every single time. If you're a beginner, don't, you don't need to do the jumps, you can just do the same thing except just raising one leg at a time. Now. The next exercise in the sequence, sorry I'm sweating, like a little piggy oink oink. Um, you're gonna get into a side lunge position with your arms back. You're gonna do a jump up. So the point of this exercise is not to get as many reps as possible throughout this interval, but to get as many good reps, quality versus quantity. So you're gonna get into this position, you're gonna do a jump up as high as you can. You're gonna place your leg back. Do a kick up while squeezing the back of the leg you're standing on. Then you're gonna switch sides, do the same thing. Jump up, kick up. If you're a beginner, you, you can skip the kick up or you can just do this one. Two. You can skip the middle part of a jump up. So just do the switching of the legs and the kick up. The next exercise in this workout is uh, dumbbell swings. You can also use kettlebells, um, whatever. You know, you can even use a medicine ball. You are going to sit in the squat position with your back straight. You're going to swing the dumbbell or the kettlebell, whatever you have, up, pause it right here, go down. Squeezing your butt. You can even do this exercise if you are a beginner. You can either do lighter weight, and I would still recommend you doing some kind of a weight. You can do this exercise with just your body weight if you're a complete, complete, complete beginner. But I would still recommend you using a little bit of weight, some kind of resistance to get this really good burn. Now, the last exercise in the sequence were dive bombers and shoulder presses. And uh, each dive bomber and each shoulder press counts as one rep. And I was doing them off the dumbbells because it changes the grip than just placing your hands regularly on the floor. You're gonna get into this position, your toe, uh, standing on your toes, 
The wider you place your legs, the easier this exercise will be. The closer together the legs are, the harder this exercise will be. You're going to go slide through. And you're going to slide back out. From here, you're going to do a shoulder press. And that was one rep. If you are a beginner, you can, you can just place your feet as wide as you can. You can also slide through as much as you can if you can. You can just do a regular push-up or you can also place your, uh, your knees on the ground and you can do the same thing, something like this. Or I would just recommend just, just placing your feet wider, doing a slide through and then just come out from here. You don't have to slide out because it's going to be tough for you to do. And for the shoulder press, you can place your knees down and do a shoulder press. So, ah, so this was my workout for today. And this, this workout was great. I had a nice sweat from this um, little routine. And I will have full explanations on my blog. Um, also, share your scores because I'll be posting my scores as well. And this is it for now, so I'll see you there.